Welcome back to Celestial Chronicles, everyone. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating and often controversial topic, will those who lived before religions go to hell? This question touches on beliefs about the afterlife, the nature of divinity, and the history of humanity itself. So, grab a cup of tea, settle in, and let's explore this profound question together. To begin with, it's essential to recognize that this question isn't just about theology. It's about understanding our shared human history and the various ways people have sought meaning and purpose in their lives. Before we dive into specific beliefs and doctrines, let's take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Humans have been around for a very long time. Our ancestors roamed the earth long before the establishment of what we now recognize as organized religions. They lived in a world filled with wonder and mystery, trying to make sense of natural phenomena, life, death, and the universe. These early humans had their own beliefs, rituals, and spiritual practices that were deeply meaningful to them, even if they didn't resemble the religions we're familiar with today. So, when we ask whether these early humans would go to hell, we need to consider several factors. One major consideration is the concept of hell itself. Different religions have different ideas about what hell is and who might end up there. For some, hell is a place of eternal punishment, for others, it's more like a temporary state of purification. Let's start with Christianity, one of the religions most associated with the concept of hell. According to traditional Christian doctrine, salvation and entry into heaven are typically tied to one's faith in Jesus Christ. But what about those who lived before Jesus or in regions where Christianity hadn't spread? Christian theologians have wrestled with this question for centuries. Some argue that God's justice and mercy would make allowances for those who never had the opportunity to hear the gospel. This idea is sometimes referred to as invincible ignorance, the notion that people who are unaware of Christian teachings through no fault of their own won't be held accountable in the same way as those who reject them knowingly. There's also the concept of natural law, which suggests that basic moral principles are known to all humans through their conscience. According to this view, people who lived morally good lives according to the light they had might still find favor with God, even if they didn't know the specifics of the Christian faith. Now, let's turn to other major religions and their perspectives. In Islam, for instance, there's a belief in the idea of fitra, which is the natural state of being and inherent knowledge of God. It's believed that everyone is born with this innate understanding. However, those who lived before the final revelation of Islam are judged according to the messages that were sent to their communities and the moral lives they led. Hinduism and Buddhism offer yet another perspective. These religions often focus on karma and the cycle of rebirth. Instead of a single eternal hell, there are various realms of existence one might be reborn into, depending on their actions in past lives. The idea is more about spiritual evolution and growth rather than eternal damnation. So, what does all this mean for our ancestors who lived before the advent of organized religions? From these perspectives, it seems there's a common thread, a recognition that ultimate judgment is beyond human comprehension and is left to a higher power, whether that's God, a cosmic law, or the principle of karma. But let's not forget another important aspect of this discussion, the inherent goodness and search for truth that are part of the human experience. Regardless of the time period or culture, humans have always sought to understand their place in the universe and to live lives that reflect their deepest values. In many indigenous and ancient belief systems, the afterlife was often seen as a continuation of the earthly life or a return to the spiritual realm. These beliefs were deeply intertwined with respect for ancestors and nature. For example, many Native American tribes believe in a spirit world where the souls of the deceased continue to exist in harmony with the natural world. These views remind us that the human spirit has always been drawn to seek connection with something greater, to find meaning in existence, and to live ethically. It's a powerful testament to the idea that no matter when or where we live, there is an intrinsic value in the search for truth and goodness. So, if we circle back to our original question, will those who lived before religions go to hell? We can see that the answer is not straightforward. It depends greatly on one's religious or philosophical perspective. However, there's a beautiful commonality in these diverse beliefs, the understanding that life is a journey, and that our actions and intentions matter deeply. Many spiritual traditions emphasize compassion, kindness, and integrity as core values. They teach that how we treat others and how we live our lives are crucial components of our spiritual path. This universal principle suggests that those who lived righteously, according to the wisdom of their time and place, would be judged with mercy and understanding. In the end, contemplating the fate of those who lived before organized religions invites us to reflect on our own beliefs about justice, mercy, and the divine. 
It encourages us to consider the vast tapestry of human spirituality and the many ways people have sought to understand the mysteries of existence. So, what do you think? How do you believe those who live before religions are judged in the afterlife? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue this conversation and learn from each other's perspectives. Thank you for joining me on this journey through history and spirituality. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Celestial Chronicles for more explorations into the profound questions of life. Until next time, keep seeking, keep questioning, and keep shining your light. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video?